Hi guys, I'm Rahul and welcome back to Frapper Aqua. So this video is a very exciting project actually. My first marine aquarium, completely different from what I regularly uh, keep that is discussed that you all guys know. So uh, completely excited about the, this project. Uh, so the entire video is about how the tank setup was made. Uh, we did some customization in the, to, the, to the existing molded tank. Uh, so it took about 30 days for the entire cycling and to add the fish. It's got the entire process, little long video, so stay tuned. So this is a 17 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch molded tank, which is going to become my first marine aquarium. So let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. Marine Aquarium is in place in my new stand. It's my schema. So now I'm making getting the water ready. So this is about 35 plus liters of water, RO water specifically. So we are going to be adding the salt and uh, age the water for about 2 days and then check the density of the salt and then uh, we will put it into the tank. So this is the marine salt which uh, we have to mix with RO water and uh, age it for about a day or two. So I am going to add this into the Buffer. So, so in a day or two the water should be ready to go into the aquarium. So it's bubbling uh, with the air stone inside it it's much more faster because it's continuous motion of the uh, water. Keeping it stagnant is never good for any aquarium water. So let's see after two days how it is. some water and uh, do a pee pee bath. Using potassium per magnet. Very little uh, just to clean out the tank. Very little. In case there is anything toxic in the tank, it will just get removed. So wiping out all the sides of the aquarium with potassium per magnet. It's a new tank, but anyways, before I add in water, I just want to be sure. 
any new aquarium you're starting off is always better to do a clean up uh, with uh, potassium permanganate because it actually uh, removes out any kind of uh, bacteria or any kind of stuff so all my tanks let it be marine let it be any tank i mean any tank because it's always to clean up better to clean up the entire thing before you set up the tank so there's no harm and it's very commonly available so in any of your medical stores so remove the pp out use the tissue wipe out entire glass from the inside see all this okay so the tank is going to be left to dry for tonight and tomorrow we're going to be adding in water salt water which is ready to go into the tank so we've got about 3 kg of sand for my marine tank I need to wash it out a little bit before it goes into the tank something like uh, beach sand na yeah, it look good in the tank need to wash it out before it goes into the tank this is why it's important to wash the sand because stuff like this and all will be stuck so you don't want all this to be entering your tank for the maximum now the rest of it we'll have to sort it out in the tank tanks nice and dried out uh, after the potassium permanganate uh, cleaning yesterday so now it's time to add the sand into the tank so i just wanted a thin layer of sand because i don't it's a small tank just laid it out so now we add the water into the tank the water has been aged for about 2 days now salt is completely dissolved time for it to go into the tank you don't have a pump because i don't want to mix my discus tank uh, pump with salt water so i have to do this whole thing manually cannot help it so after some time it's better to pour it pour water into the cup and not directly onto the sand so the sand uh, doesn't get disturbed a lot the water is reached the sump level so the back portion of the tank also is going to get uh, filled up now see the some portion is slowly getting filled up so this entire area has to get filled up So if you are having a salt water aquarium this is a hydrometer 
So uh, this basically tells you the temperature in which the water is, the water temperature, and this level is the salt level in your aquarium. So we just dip it in. So if this, uh, if the hydrometer is, if the below below this level, that means the salt level in your water is less. And if it stands above the water, like below the green, uh, that means the salt level is more. So let's check. So currently my salt level is little less. So I need to add uh, some salt into the aquarium. So let's do that. But before that, let's start off the pump and let the water cycle. So let's switch on the pump and uh, see how it is. And yes, it's good. So the sump is working. So water is going in uh, from this side, passing through media and uh, ceramic rings. There's a pump here and it's uh, coming out from here. So it's the basic uh, entire circular mo moment. So finally my Maran Aquarium is running. So this tank needs to cycle for some time, at least for about two weeks uh, before we add uh, fish into it. So till then it will be just a fishless cycle which is very very important in any aquarium setup so that the beneficial bacteria in the tank and the filter media gets uh, formed and uh, so uh, that's what breaks down your ammonia nitrate and nitrite any aquarium for that matter cycling is very very important uh, so yeah so finally my marine aquarium is up and running let's see how it goes This is how the sump system is working. So the water goes through this layer. There is some filter media below this. Passes below, comes to the skimmer. I have not switched on the skimmer yet. After it passes through the skimmer, it gets into uh, this media. After that, it passes through this and comes into the pump. And back into the tank so it's basically going through three layers so future if you want to use a if you if i'm going to use a heater i can put it here so i don't need to put it inside the tank so that was the whole idea of having the entire filtration completely inbuilt and uh, that's also a space saving uh, kind of an idea where everything is inside this so i don't need to have a separate sump because I have my sump behind my aquarium. Yeah. This is Ocean Freeze uh, Super Bacteria 8000. It's good for uh, freshwater and um, saltwater aquariums. Basically, it's got a lot of uh, bacteria elements in this uh, and helps in uh, building up your uh, beneficial bacteria and uh, cycling up a new tank faster. So this is good if you good to have if you are uh, setting up a new tank or uh, helps in uh, cycling the tank faster. So we're going to add this into my sump system which is behind this. Okay. So I'm going to put it into the intake of my sump so basically this will get into the media and uh, pass through from here to the ceramic rings and then uh, help in uh, building up the beneficial bacteria so now the tank has to be cycling for some time before the fishes come in 
so i have switched on the skimmer after about 5 uh, days of uh, cycling this tank so skimmers have to be maintained uh, in a very good level and uh, this level that uh, it has to be below the water level so you can do the adjustments with this particular skimmer you can do the adjustments uh, with this uh, stand my first marine fish it's two blue damsels uh, they just arrived today so they is getting uh, this is got acclimated now with my tank temperature so currently i'm going to be adding some of the tank water from my tank which has been cycling for over 30 days now so after that we'll be releasing them into my tank should be good enough so we'll leave them for some time and then we'll slowly release them into my tank so this tank has been cycling for about 30 days now without any fishes so the skimmer is all working fine everything is fine so the cycling is done so my fishes are getting acclimated so it's time to add them into the tank into the new home hopefully they like it there will take some time to settle now you sudden change in temperature and thing i have acclimated them but still they will take some time to get used to the the new home made uh, lights for this tank yet i'm still working on it so that should be one of my next videos uh the light for my marine tank i'm making it myself i have not uh, bought a marine light so i'm going to try my own uh, diy with a combination of blue and uh, white light if it works well then i'm not going to be buying lights so i'm going to use the same hmm they seem to be okay and active let's see in a couple of days how they do so this is the food i bought uh, for blue damsels what i have uh, you can see these beauties they here lighting is coming in soon so till then anyway this is the food it's uh, available on amazon it's hekari marine s basically for the small ones like you can see the blue damsel you can see the nemo the small ones yes yeah so feel the feed them like two times if you can but yeah, again quantities which they can consume within 10 minutes is good available on amazon yeah or if you guys need it let me know so hope you guys like the video if you did uh, please to give us a thumbs up and please to subscribe to our channel and uh, support us so the next video uh, is going to be the lighting for the entire rack system what i have made uh, so that's what is going to be coming up uh, in some time so please to subscribe and stay tuned so till then happy fish keeping cheers